Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in today as hands, I think, and we're just going to go for a nice random starting weapon and see how we go. It's been a little while since I played as hand. Also, the artwork for this uh, the skin is pretty awesome. I'm going to go no um no crown for now and just see how we go. Uh, we, we are starting out here with the flare gun, which we know is one of the best or one of the better uh, abilities here. There you go. We got our punching ability as well, which I'll try and utilize to the fullest whenever I can. We'll go through here and try and get our uh, pickable mutation here. I love the fact that the fist, for one, does good damage. But for two, the fact that it can go through walls. Like, doing stuff like that with the fist is so nice. Like, it just... Being able to save yourself quite a lot of ammo early on is very, very nice just in general. Um, but, do you know what? I think I might actually go through the... Um, through the inverted here. Spear launcher, I'll take it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's go for the inverted. I don't do the inverted of this area very often here. Um, we did get spear launcher, so we could go with bolt marrow. Uh, but plutonium hunger is just too good not to take. And then uh, eagle eyes is really good. Apparently, shotgun shoulders has had some improvements in the, the, the patch that I'm on now. Uh, the newest update. Basically, it's got a bit of aim assist now. Um, and it, aim assist is further improved when you're using eagle eyes. So I'm definitely looking to try that out. Right, as long as we keep our distance, these guys aren't too bad. Honestly, you can do some absolutely insane shit with this. Triple blood rifle. Honestly, I'm going to take that because we've uh, got something that's going to make triples pr much better. Through we go. And there's bolt marrow again. Um... I'm going to take Power Craving, though, this time around, I think. Uh, and then let's go with Explosive on this and see if that's going to be good for us. It's a bit cheeky. It's a little bit cheeky, but I like the idea of it. Yeah, like, look look at the look at the, the output damage. But yeah, I, I'm going to be sort of firing my fist as I shoot here. I don't remember what this guy does, but <laughs> he's very dead, so we don't have to worry about that. We are on plus... Four overheal right now, which is kind of wild. Throw a splinter on this bad boy as well. Why not? We got all the stuff on this guy. Um, ah, then I don't even know. Scarier face is probably the right, right way to go here. Ooh, kind of forgot we'd be in this area. God damn, this is going to be scary, but also a lot of fun, I think. If I die, it wasn't my fault. And we got flame on this bad boy too. This thing's uh, be becoming quite stacked. Ooh, we got a, a lightning chest in here. Guaranteed lightning item. Not that we need it, but it's kind of nice to see. Okay, careful of the, the monkeys. They are quite the bastards. But you can see that this, this character with this setup, having a blood weapon and everything, is uh, proving to be pretty amazing. <laughs> proving to be pretty darn amazing. We're not really having much trouble at all getting through all of this. And things are having a hard time shooting us too. Got another inverted area there that I'd like to go for. Let's do it. I need to sneeze. One second. I need to pause and sneeze. Apologies about that. I think I'm going to go Hypersomnia here. We're making our way through. Oh, dude, have I been to this inverted area before? Or at least if I have, it's been a while. This is... This looks new. I want to say new, but it looks... It looks unfamiliar is what I should say. I was finally hit there. Wow, that was a quick stage. Where's our bush box at? Um, hmm. Pretty good bloodlust here, I think. Right, bush box is coming up, so we've got to be very ready. I'm going to try and make the most of this and kill as many as I can. Inverted bush box is down. Pretty sketch that was, my goodness. Uh, I could go with Morph on this. I'm actually pretty happy with what I've got on it right now, to be honest. I'm going to be keeping this thing for a little bit. We're already up to almost level 9. Uh, push enemies instead of your um Push enemies instead. Your hand deals more damage. Enemies pushed into walls take even more damage. Yeah, I think we'll go for that, won't we? I remember this being pretty darn good. And we are, we are nearly ready for the area. And we have a blood weapon, which I've kind of said before is... Uh, it's pretty important for this uh, this next area. It makes, makes fighting your clone a hell of a lot easier. Right, here we are. What's it going to take from us? 
I didn't realise uh, we'd be fighting him right now. My bad. We lost eagle eyes. No. The effectiveness of this weapon relied on that. <laughs> Damn. There's shotgun shoulders. We could go for that. Um, I think we go with extra feet, though. Yeah, unfortunately... Unfortunately, we were kind of somewhat relying on the uh, the old... Okay, but while these guys are asleep, we can kill them because they won't shoot their shot. Yeah, there you go. They won't shoot their on-death shot. Yeah, not having eagle eyes has kind of somewhat scarpered my plans. So, flare gun, you're not the best. I really should have taken a better secondary as a preparation for this potential inevitability. There you go. What's 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 this weapon? A cr was it? This is a cr Kraken plasma gun. Kraken revolver. I see. I see. Okay, not the best dodges in the world here. Not the best dodges you've ever seen. I like the Kraken revolver. I gotta say that. That is this thing's pretty gnarly. Pushing these enemies away is kind of nice because we can push them through the walls. Unfortunately, we don't get any extra damage pushing them into walls because there's no walls. Splinter pistol, we don't need that. Okay. Good, good. I want my eagle eyes back. Yeah, we've got to take out as many of these as we can while they're uh, hypersomniaed. I need to remember how good Hypersomnia is down here. Not that we get a guarantee of keeping it, but having all these enemies be paused is invaluable. Really, really good. Ooh, Thunder Kraken. We're going double Kraken here. Uh, I don't know. I, I kind of want to keep that, though. I'll go with the Thunder Kraken and that. And many down here? It didn't be at least a few, apparently not. Okay, right. It's time. We should have an easy time of this, in theory. Now, knocking them back probably isn't the best for us. Wait, like, dude, can you come back? Yeah, knocking him back clearly isn't isn't really working. Kraken Kraken does pull him towards though, so it's it's kind of a little bit of back and forth here of using both effectively. This guy is not easy though right now. Okay, we got him, we got him. Okay, he is asleep briefly. Okay, very, very briefly, unfortunately. Oh dude. The fist is it impossible to use. It, it knocks him back too far. It knocks him back off the stage. I don't think that's supposed to be possible. Dude! I thought he copied your weapons. Where the hell did the rocket come from? <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, okay, so the fist is actually absolutely awful against the bosses because it pushes them back way, way, way too far. Lesson learnt, good to know. Lesson learnt, good to know. Now, this thing could be really good with shotgun shoulders. So, maybe I'll see if I can grab that. This little shotgun of mine. Go with a pop gun as well. Um, Extra feet off the rip. I'm taking extra feet a lot more often recently, but it's because it's a lot better as of recently. Good, good. Wrench could be good. Yeah, th this thing's super bad right now in terms of its range, but I imagine shotgun shoulders could make this thing into an all singing, all dancing, amazing. Just, oh, I want it. I want it so bad. Cool. Okay. Nice. We'll go straight through here. We're up to level three already. We're not doing too bad here. Um, Come on, shoulders. Where you at? I'm going to take open mind for now. Go straight on through. 
But yeah, maybe having the, the, the pull rather than the push would be better here. Trying to use it where I can here. Wow, it, it does insane damage early on. It kind of falls off later down the line. But just as a, a like sort of a way in the door early on, it's very, very nice. Giving us a bit of extra range to work with here as well. I'm buffing this thing up in the hopes that I can keep it around with shotgun shoulders, but we'll see. Uh, scarier face here. Thank you. Oh, I was trying to get rid of the fire spewer there, but didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Okay, good. Dense gun. Jawbreaker. Pretty good with what i got right now. I need to swap out my secondary weapon at some point. That's not really doing a whole hell of a lot for us right now, is it? I think we're good here, aren't we? Yep, there you go. Just try that fire straight away. It's very nice. Right. What do we pull through here with us? Shotgun shoulders, where art thou? Hand cannon. Ooh, swarm. Yes, please. Swarm with the poison. I like it. We're leveling up fast with this guy, at least. I mean, there's that. This is where the boss is. I was kind of hoping to go the opposite way to the boss first, but I've accidentally come towards the boss, but we'll make it work. The micro missile's gonna get me. Okay, no, it didn't. Good. Micro missile be damned. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, fucking hell. When they're inverted, they fire so many more shots. I forget about that. Okay, we're good, we're good. Health, not the best, but we're good. Um, probably gonna go with Bloodlust. Yeah, I need to take Bloodlust more often, to be honest. Bloodlust is something that I don't I don't interact with enough, and it's, it's very, very good. Especially when there's a lot of enemies. Your chances of healing is so high. And you get a guaranteed heal from bosses as well now, which is pretty nice, I think. Okay, here's our second, new secondary weapon, the double pop gun. If we get eagle eyes, it'll be much better. But for now, it's it's decent. Bouncer SMG, nothing special there. There's the eagle eyes. This will actually be really good for our shotgun as well. Come on, shotgun shoulders. I just want to see if this, this starting weapon gets bonkers with shotgun shoulders. That's all I want to see. Got an inverted area again. Heavy crossbow. Excuse me, good sir. Did you not? Thank you. We'll go straight into the inverted. Nope, that's not the inverted portal. My bad. <laughs> Damn. I completely missed it. I just saw green and walked towards it, was hoping it was the inverted. It was not. Whoa! What the hell killed me then? Okay, I died very quickly there. Wasn't expecting that. This time we're starting off with a crossbow. But yeah, I really want to try out a shotgun setup. Realistically, I shouldn't even bother using my, my early weapon. It should just be fist only. Go through here. If I can go through that, it will. Uh, there's shotgun shoulders. I'll take it early and see if we can make it work, because I want to see how good it is now. We're just going to find a appropriate weapon, i.e. a shotgun. a lot of inverted areas right now. Certainly don't mind it. I'm going to keep taking them while I can. Um, hmm. Probably plutonium hunger here. If these guys die in one, that's good to know. Basically, I want to be shooting these guys from behind walls whenever possible. Kraken. Why not put a bit of that on it? You see how powerful this is, though? The fists just dominate this entire stage. That's a bullet shotgun, so that unfortunately doesn't count. <laughs> um, Extra feet again. Hypersomnia! I, 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 I wanted to take there as well. Toxic crossbow. With mood swing is very good. Good, good, 
good. That wasn't too bad at all. Ooh. I didn't even think about the fact that the shotgun modifier with shotgun shoulders would work. It's very nice. Okay, this is uh, proving to be pretty useful right here. I need more shotgun modifiers if I can get them. There's eagle eyes as well. We're back here again. What the hell did I just do to myself then? Yeah, it's the lightning, isn't it? I forget this stage is all about lightning. It goes from poison to lightning. Go with that as well. Lightning pistol? Uh, yeah, we'll take a lightning pistol as a secondary. Why not? It's kind of close. It's proving to be good, though. It's proving to be good. Um... Probably going to go with power craving here because I'm hoping to switch out weapons relatively soon as soon as I find a decent shotgun. As good as this thing is, actually. This thing's proving to be very useful, but still. Look at that. <laughs> we fire one shot and it, like, creates an entire swarm of different shots coming from every angle. I will take a frost pistol, I think. Frost assault rifle, even. Level 7. Good, good. Um, fists. Hit the fists for the extra damage. Able to have the crossbow carry us a little further that way. Bush box we've apparently hit already, I didn't even realise. Bush box when you're in an area like this is kind of awful. I'm going to actually focus on taking care of the rest of the stage and then focus on bush box afterwards. Because otherwise I'm going to get hit by one of these assassin dudes and cause all sorts of issues for myself. I'll take the snake gun though. Ha, God damn it! Slash shotgun. There you go. <laughs> that seems pretty good with eagle eyes and stuff. That. Because it doesn't really spiral anymore like it normally does. With eagle eyes it just kind of shoots directly at the enemy. This is awesome. I've never had the slash shotgun with eagle eyes before. It's good stuff. And then we've got the bouncy shots for any shots that miss. I can get down with this. I can heavily get down with this. Heavy blood pistol I'll take as my second bridge because we want that blood weapon with us. Now, am I going to lose eagle eyes and shotgun shoulders going into the next area? Almost definitely. <laughs> um, it's kind of tricky, this one. Tough shell. I think I'll take tough shell. Bit of extra protection. Right, remember we've got Big Bat to fight here. I've been kind of forgetting about Big Bat. God, that's so good. I love it. There he is. We've got a weapon to just demolish him, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is uh, getting a bit hectic, my guy. <laughs> there you go. That was a bit insane. Okay, I just walked into all those lists, apparently. Eagle eyes. I, I knew I'd lose that at least. Yep. Fucking shotgun knuckles now it's called. I told you I'd lose those. So this isn't anywhere near as good now. I lost the two things that make the shotgun weapon like insane. So I guess let's do this. I am not a huge fan of you. We do have Swarm on this thing, which is rather nice. Doing extra poison damage over time. It's actually doing a lot of extra poison damage over time. We like that. Calm down. God damn it. Okay.
Holy shit. The accelerator. I can't remember what the accelerator does, but I think I'm going to take it over my shotgun for now. Okay, yeah, I remember now. The, the more range we get between enemies, the more damage it does, right? Fuck her off, you. I'll take that. Um, And then, yeah, Hypersomnia again was really good last time, so let's take it. Because these enemies don't do their on-death effects with Hypersomnia. So we want to be taking advantage of that as much as we can. A little worried about ammo here. I've uh, knocked myself into a bit of a bad situation. Okay. I get plenty of ammo back when I start fighting the guy, though, so don't worry about that too much, actually. I've reached level ultra. It seems like you reach level ultra on this stage pretty commonly. So a few, few boys down here. But honestly, the swarm is really, really nice here. Cluster, oh man, that's that feels like it's going to be instant death, but potentially a lot of extra damage. So I'm going to try it out. Where you at? There you are. Why is he sometimes invisible for a while? I'm not really sure what that's about. Okay, there we go. That that went well with that guy. Now, if he fires this thing at me, we're screwed. We got him, we got him. Okay, good. Right. Hold off, hold off, hold off. Do I want to take the accelerator back? Probably, to be honest. Probably. Right, we did it. We got our mutations back. And let's see what our hands does. Pressing F to create a temporary area of protection around your hand. The area deals initial damage and blocks squares. And we get our ultra as well. All damage you deal to an enemy is increased depending on how close you are to the enemy. Damage buff is higher in inverted areas. That's pretty good. Um, walls contain swarm bolts. Inverted portals um, heal you, overheal you for four. That's pretty good. Um, more fire damage, herming fire. Even more fire damage while in inverted areas. Overheal four. Um, can have two hands out at the same time. Can push projectiles. Not particularly interested in that one. Explosive hand. Hand is slower. Normal hand speed is inverted area. Inverted portals. Okay. Allows your hand to collect rads and pickups. Hand leaves a trail that speeds up and slows down enemies, including... Speeds you up and slows down enemies, including projectiles. Hand is faster. The hand is even faster while in inverted areas. This is tricky. This is pretty tricky. There's a lot of good stuff here. I think we go with this one. Pop rifle. It's a kind of crap weapon to get this late in the game. Trying to keep my distance here to make the uh, accelerator good. The accelerator's noise is uh, not my favorite, I'll be honest. I did a good amount of damage with this thing. Auto shotgun, okay. There be our secondary. Yeah, auto shotgun feels like it's going to be pretty damn good for us here. Probably going to use that primarily, to be honest. Um, and what do we want on it? Bouncer, most likely. We want shotgun on it, really, if anything. Super spiral yo-yo gun. Let's take it. Why not? We're doing weird stuff. Why not? Flail. Flail's pretty good. Okay. Let's try and get to our area and buy ourselves some good stuff. I don't know why that's there. Okay, this thing does insane damage. Not apparently insane enough to kill him quickly. <laughs> we lost, like, so much ammo there. We didn't get any ammo back for killing him either. This is kind of bad. I'm going to have to use the accelerator because I just don't have ammo for my shotgun right now. Oh god, I've got an itchy eye. God damn, everything's itching, I'm sneezing, it's it's all it's all over the place right now. 
Okay, we're through. Hello, hello. Cool. Unlock secondary starting weapon. Yes. And then buy golden weapons. Good, good. Golden line. Still haven't found a golden weapon of the one that I actually want yet, but hey, her. Right, let's go. Good stuff. I love this area. Right, having hypersomnia here is very, very nice for us. Let's go straight in here. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. Auto shotgun's doing some good stuff. Triple pop gun, why not? What weapon's that? Heavy club. Seems interesting. Oh, look, he literally just spawned, like, basically asleep. Assault flugger. Yes, please. The assault flugger does some bits for us. I have no idea as to where the boss is. There you go. Yeah. Get destroyed, my guy. Oh my god, what is going on in here? Blood double rocket gun. Okay, just, just keep on walking through. Big assassin somewhere about. We don't really know where. Oh, right next to us. That's where. Big assassin, why you gotta be this way? I can never quite figure out. Yeah, I can never. Help. I I think big assassin, in my opinion, needs like an outline, like that red outline that the others have, because he blends in way too much. And I realise he's meant to be stealthy. That's kind of the point of him. But it does find it does make it really difficult. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.